Well, hello there, chums. We have some No Man's Sky news. Yes, over on Steam, on the experimental branch, we've been hit up with a list of things that may be coming into the verse. Say maybe, it's pretty much on the cards now, people. Let's just go over and let's have a quick look-see at what's over on the experimental branch, shall we? Heck yes. Righto, so here we go. I've got it up on screen now. So this is the experimental branch 2111. Yep, and there's quite a lot in here, people. But I'm just going to focus on the main part here. The Exobiology, a Blighted, a Leviathan, and Pole Star Expeditions have been created as a Redux Expeditions. Redux Expeditions are shorter versions of the primary versions of the main expedition with the same rewards designed to offer players the chance to gain any reward they miss from this year's Expeditions. Yeah. The Redux Expeditions will run over the holiday period and be available on all platforms, including Nintendo Switch. Okay, cool, Leo. Yeah. As well as their previous rewards, Redux Expeditions will also award bonus Quicksilver to all platforms. Brilliant! So even if um, the Quicksilver isn't available through normal missions for Switch players, at least they can earn some this way. Community Expeditions now carry a set of minimum difficulty settings similar to Permadeath Mode. Okay, so all of this here is to do with the Reduxes. Now I've got a load of tabs open here about each of those different sort of expeditions if you missed them so expedition 5 is exobiology and it was linked to like the sentinel update in a roundabout way but scrolling down here you're going to see a lot of the um the rewards that you would get i'm going to put all these in the video description so you can hit these up in your own leisure and take a better read of them all so just heading down here you're going to see some of the, re the rewards like this glitch separated trail which is pretty darn freaking nice a reality glitch a lot of posters there uh, some new cosmetics for some of your um, your creatures and things and we've got a new backpack as well look at that you're going to be able to get that that's a pretty gnarly backpack and also your own quad dog pet which goes quite nicely with your drone if you've done these sorts of drone sort of missions but you got that one so that was exobiology that's expedition five which is going to be first in the list i'd imagine because the next one is expedition six the blighted so this one came out roughly around the same time as outlaws i believe this one rewards you with the cape but we'll scroll down or oh, 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 whatever but you got this gnarly ship trail i really like this one it looks like your engines are backfiring loads of smoke and flames come out of it and all sorts of gnarly stuff again you got some cool posters some flags you got this little glitched cube that floats around which is pretty darn sweet yes here's the cape that i was on about you're gonna get yourself a lovely gnarly cape that one's awesome isn't it that's very cool yeah and the next one is leviathan so this was expedition seven but yeah this one here let's scroll on down diddly diddly d we're gonna be getting a load of memory fragments and stuff hmm hold on one second yeah, that this is an actual update. This isn't the expedition. Where's the actual expedition in here? That's a bit weird. It did. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Well, it's going to be these ship trails and another cape as well. That's pretty darn sweet. Your own little mini frigatey type thing that you can put inside of bases. Yeah, that's pretty darn awesome. And loads of other. Well, this was a community update as well. This was a lot of stuff thrown into one sort of update. Take a read of that one because. The rewards are a little bit sketchy. I mean, yes, you're going to get that, but I think you also get your own living frigate, maybe. I'm not 100% sure now, because that's a little bit strange, isn't it? There's a lot of things in here that I don't actually really recall, so I'm going to have to rewatch that one myself, and I'm probably going to enjoy doing that one. Okay, the next one is Polestar. Okay, so this is Expedition 8. This is the one that just passed. I mean, this was pretty darn freaking epic in itself. You actually start on a freighter on this one, which was pretty darn awesome. And I, I, I really enjoyed this one. I think this is probably one of my favourite ones. I really enjoyed this. This was this was great fun. It was a completely different start, and it threw, it threw things into the mix. It was pretty cool. The rewards in this one, though, were the Flaming Barrel. That's quite nice. The other ones are okay, but the, the Flaming Barrel was also awesome. You're going to get the Child of Helios as a pet, which is pretty darn freaking swanky. But having that, there you go. That kind of gives you an idea um, what's going on there. So there we go, people. That's all the Redux stuff. That's the main bulk of this. It's, that's, that's the main takeaway. I mean, when you get down to here and you're reading all the other things that are inside of this patch, it's like the freaking credits to a Marvel film. It just goes on for freaking ages with all the different things that they've managed to fix now. 
Now, one of the things that they have fixed is that bug that I put out the other day. You know where you can fly through the roof of the Nexus and fall to your peril and die? That has been fixed. So I don't know whether that was me sending over my video to the old Zen desk or putting it out there in the verse, but I'm just glad that they fixed it. Apparently, I wasn't the first to the table with that one. Apparently, Elite Gamers did a video on it. Didn't see it. I don't really um, watch too much the, the Elite Gamers or, or so-and-so do. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those, to be honest. But, yeah awesome it's good that it's been fixed to be fair okay let's uh, scroll on down i think he put it down down as being a feature or a hidden feature or a secret or something not as a bug so i don't know whether it went to the zen desk but yeah here we go let's uh, carry on down on here so sentinel hives okay this is a good one multi-tools collected from the sentinel hives are now free though they would have damaged slots that need repairing so that's another really cool one as well um, there's some that are really stand out in this list. A lot of the others are a little bit cosmetic. It's like the old landing gear showing when you land. I've seen that happen a few times. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's not a you know it's not a game stopper or anything. It's just a little bit of a, a, a visual glitch. But yeah, they have fixed a number of issues and a number of hangs. This one's an interesting one. A number of networking issues. I'm hoping that makes the weekend missions a more joined up experience maybe it would stop things from you know falling apart when you've got more than say two players in a group and there was another one as well that allows players to join um invite only groups i've had that happen a few times i've usually got mine set to invite only but i still get people managing to join i think they can do it from discord if they see that you're online on discord i think they can hit up and join you directly through discord into no man's sky or something weird there's ways and means people are managing to do it somehow it might not be through discord but there we go people that's pretty much the list of patches and stuff i mean i put a link to all of this inside the video description so you can have a better read because i have just skimmed through this rather than read it all out and bore you to death with it all you can come here and read it yourself but at the end of the day the main takeaway from this is they've fixed a lot of stuff there's a heck of a lot of fixes in here now, it just goes to show how many bugs, though, there were sort of um, lingering in the background with inside of No Man's Sky. So this has put in a lot of polish, a well-needed polish. So if you were experiencing any issues with No Man's Sky, things that were grating or bugging, um, bugging, bugging out or bugging you out, um, after this update, jump back in, see if they still exist, because there's a good, strong likelihood that they're somewhere in this massive pile and medley of freaking fixes that have gone on. So there we go, peeps. That's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. Let me just uh, jump on in and make myself a little bit bigger on screen for a moment. Because one takeaway from this is, is the reduxes are changed. So even though I've done guides and videos on each of these different expeditions, they're going to be tweaked and changed somewhat. The basic premise will remain, but maybe the quantities and the quickness is going to be a little bit different. So I might have to redo guides on each of these. But I'm thinking rather than just redo guides in my normal sense, I might do them with a voice acting of EXO and make a little bit of an adventure out of them, make them a bit tongue-in-cheek, bring in a bit of comedy, and hopefully... It's you know, mix it up a bit, make it a bit different from my previous guides. One, to keep me interested in making the content, but also for you guys with your eye peepers and your ear holes in the view of us. So yes, hopefully you join me for those. But yes, exciting times. Now it does say in those patch notes for the holiday period. So I'm wondering now that we've been given these expeditions to rerun, whether that's now from here until the new year, from No Man's Sky and Hello Games, all we will see. Um, I don't want to put any hype out there about another new expedition, even though I did do speculation on another expedition just the other day, because we still haven't got an answer to why that solar helmet is inside the game files, but it's not inside the Quicksilver store, as well as the Sentinel trail for our freighters still being locked with no explanation to that. But we've got a lot of question marks from this year, people. We've got the station override still. That's a question mark that's been lingering from previous year. So... I think the next video that you're going to see from me might be a wish list for 2023 with those things in there. But I still feel that that um, solar helmet and maybe even the Sentinel Trails might fall into being rewards for Expedition 9 when Expedition 9 appears. But I don't think that's going to appear now until the new year, people. Because uh, I was very much in two minds. Would we get Expedition 9 now or would we get the Reduxes now? Because... After Christmas, in February, we're going to get PlayStation VR 2, which is going to have the new version of No Man's Sky for it. And also, there's also the iOS version of No Man's Sky due to come out sometime in the new year. So I thought maybe they might hold on to the Reduxes and do them after it's on all platforms. Um, and maybe we might have got a new expedition now. 
but it could have been vice versa. I was on I was on the fence whether it could go either way. If you watch Beeble stream where we was on Studio 16, I make that quite clear on there. So my speculation was had two different tangents it could go off in. But yeah, okay, it's Reduxes. It's Reduxes. I'm pretty darn freaking epic. I'm pretty darn freaking stoked and excited. So there we go, people in the viewer verse. Until next time, take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.